Cracky mates, my name is Yakend, the leader of the Wind Wanderers, and this is How To Elemental Adventures. In this episode, we'll be going over the best money-making methods for EA. This guide will be applicable to all elemental casters, however, there are some caveats to certain methods, so be sure to watch the whole thing. The very first thing you're going to want to do if you are a Wind Wanderer is come to the Upwards Wind Temple and talk to this NPC right here. You'll see that a Wind Buffalo is actually a free mount that will get you anywhere around the map in a pinch. Now, on screen should be multiple videos showing you how to get your free mount for the different elements. I will let them play out as I'm talking, but please note specifically for the flame users that while there is two locations to get yourself a mount for free, that being the dinghy, the best location in terms of getting to where we want for the money making method is actually the temple and not the uh bay which you'll see over here, the harbor, as that is much further away from where we're going. Now, in case those videos haven't finished yet, I will be quiet while they continue and then we will cut to the actual money making method itself. Now, the very first thing you're going to want to do is actually reset and come to the closest location that you can spawn in. For flame, that will be the ancient flame temple. For wind, that will be the downward wind temple. And for earth, that will be their main city out here and you'll just want to spawn at the front and come into the ocean. Now to spawn the actual mount to get around you're going to have to press L. Now L doesn't always work you may have to press it a few times and it's important to note that water vehicles will not spawn unless you are a few paddles into the ocean so make sure to do that first and if there's any issues please put it in the comments section below I'll be sure to answer every single comment that arrives. But yeah what you want to do is press L and you want to get onto your mount there should be a seat for different mm, elementals. But for me, I just have to sit on the neck right here and fly to this place right here. Now, this is a very, very important location in the game when it comes to making money because it has one of the easiest two quests to complete. And why I say two is because you can't actually do one quest repetitively. This location, of course, is the Northern Liquid City. Now, what you're going to want to do is pick one of these two NPCs. I can only do this one purely because I've done this quest already and speak to them. You can do this at any level at any point. Now for this person, all you're gonna have to do is speak to them. You'll just click through the prompts. You don't need to read it. There's a preview icon here, but it is unneeded. You're gonna want to fly over here or walk or whatever you want all the way over to this person on the other side. This is the gr girl's grandmother. Now the grandmother actually has two quests, which is what makes this so lucrative. You speak to them, then you wait momentarily for their dialogue to have fully completed and you'll see another quest is available. Talk to them again and they'll ask for their necklace. Now this is where it trips a lot of people up. As a flame elemental, you are gonna have to step up here because down on this location, your bending may not work. So step up here, then click the preview button. Now I know where this is, but you may not. So I'm gonna use a bending move, which is my one ability. You don't have to use a bending move. You can just press W and you'll actually walk in the direction of that. So I face this direction. That means that I know for a fact that it's in this direction. And that's because my mouse was on the icon of the necklace. And then I pressed my bending move or my casting move, I should say. And that was this ability right here, which is gust. Now, again, this does, you don't have to do that. You can just press W, it is fine. And you'll see that the necklace is right here. You collect the necklace, then you go back to the grandmother and you complete the cycle by returning to the granddaughter again, and then repeat. This is an incredibly fast and lucrative money-making method, and it is honestly going to get you everything you need in the game from early to late game, and you won't have to worry about coins again. This is the end of the video. However, there are some important things that I want to shout out. First of all, if you want to join me in ranking up and getting titles on your name, bringing yourself into a community of like-minded rankers, then feel free to join the discord and the group linked in the description of this video we are happy to bring you along we would love for you to join us we have many events trainings etc another thing is this section of the video will actually be dedicated to an important question in the comments so while this is the first episode recorded in the future there may be a segment here where i answer a comment or a burning question that you ask so make sure to leave comments because they may be brought up to the whole community and may help others Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of How To Elemental Adventures.